As the temperatures get hotter, the Bureau of Land Management West Desert District says they're seeing more people head out for shooting practice. But law enforcement chief ranger Cam Stevenson says some of the people visiting their West Mountain site in Utah County are not taking proper precautions and it's putting the nearby town of Genola on edge. Behind me you see some of the homes. We've had uh, one home in particular that took a, took a handgun round that went through the roof of their house, bounced off their floor and wound up under their couch in their living room. Well, they urge all shooters to make sure not to place any targets too high on the hillside, as well as read all BLM signs in that area before getting started. Well, with views of the iconic Mount Timpanogos and Deer Creek Reservoir, a new campsite at Deer Creek State Park offers new opportunities for people to explore Utah's outdoors. Fox 13 News reporter Lucy Nelson shows us around the new site and explains its role in increasing accessibility to state parks. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? This is absolutely amazing. This is the most beautiful park we've been to. We've been all over the United States and it's um, the views here. Peter Firestone, his wife and dog Whiskey happened to stumble upon Fox Run Campground. It's my first time to Utah and it was by accident that we were able to find this park because we went to the uh, state park on the other side and they were fully cold down here and they said, yeah, we got a spot for you. They parked their RV in one of 31 new spots for visitors at Deer Creek State Park. This actually increased our camping opportunities by about a third. So now we have a total of 96 campsites within the park. The park's manager, Ranger Steven Studebaker, says this site provides an option close to town with facilities like bathrooms, showers, and outlets so the outdoors can be for everyone. We get a lot of folks from Heber that come down, a lot of folks from Utah County that will come up and it's, it's a popular area because it's easily accessible and that's one of our biggest things. We want to have as many opportunities and amenities to cater to as many options as possible. Outdoor recreation has been a hot topic at the state's legislative sessions these past couple years. The legislature passing bills and investing hundreds of millions of dollars into expanding opportunities for the visitors flooding in each year. That's why if, if you're if you've come back to state parks and you've noticed improvements like there's a zip line here at uh, Deer Creek State Park, there's a floating playground, all kinds of campsites and beach use and picnic areas. There's something for everyone when you come to state parks. Dallin Kocher says the revenue from the millions of visitors coming in each year is critical to nearby cities and counties like Heber and Wasatch. We did a study, it looked like about 46% of our sales tax is generated by visitors. So almost half of our sales tax that, you know, takes for public safety, city um, functions and other things of that nature comes from visitations. A win-win for the hosts and guests of sites like Fox Run Campground. Full hookup and, you know, it worked out great. And it's, we just, I mean, love it. It's cold at night, hot during the day, the golf course close by, the boating, and it's just perfect. In Wasatch County, Lucy Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah.